Wisdom is too high for a fool. Who is a fool? The man who ignores knowledge. Hallelujah. Are you there? But tonight I want to share some things with you that I believe will energize you and help you bring out that which is in you. You get it? I'd like you to turn into the book of Proverbs. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I'd like us to look at Proverbs. Chapter number... 24 and I am reading to you from verse 3 Proverbs chapter 24 from verse 3 through wisdom is an house builded and by understanding it is established and by knowledge shall the chambers be filled with all precious and pleasant riches hello hello <laughs> look at verse 7 Everybody read verse 7. <laughs> That's not what I want to talk about. I just want you to see it. He says what wisdom is too high. For who? So God will not give it to him. It is too much for him. Wisdom is too high for a fool. Jesus said cast not your pears before swine. So you don't cast your bears before swine. Why? He says wisdom is too high for a fool. Who is a fool? One who ignores knowledge. That's a fool. The Bible says a fool ignores knowledge. He ignores it. He ignores it. How much will it cost you to buy a tip? That will change your life. You see, he's grumbling. He says he doesn't have money. He says he's broke. He says he wants to do better. But he will not so much as invest the little that he has in getting those things that have the potentials to transform his life forever. Wisdom is too high for a fool. Who is a fool? The man who ignores knowledge. He ignores knowledge. But he will spend time reading newspapers and magazines and he will not be any better. Wisdom is too high for a fool. Say it again, say it again. You see, so God will not give it to him. All right. Now, what we saw in verse 3, he says, Through wisdom is an house builded, and by understanding it is established. He says, with wisdom you build your house. Your house is like your life. It's like your future. It's like your business. It's like your family. He says, through wisdom, you build it. You establish it by understanding. 
and by knowledge you bring in riches into it that's what it says why do you have so many people whose lives are disconnected whose lives are out of joint who are frustrated and unhappy they lack wisdom why do we have so many people who have families that are disorientated why unhappy families why do we have them businesses that are disconnected businesses that are frustrated they lack what understanding because by understanding it is made strong it is established but no understanding they probably had enough wisdom to start the business but they lack the understanding to establish it some had enough wisdom to begin the family they lack the understanding to establish it then it says through knowledge it says by knowledge all the chambers there are filled with riches by knowledge by knowledge but the fool ignores knowledge therefore even though he has just enough sense to organize his business and then he has the understanding to establish it the business is not moving forward but a very strong business he is not making losses but he's not making progress in the last five years he's been making a certain amount of money just enough to make the business run enough to run his family and everything it's just you understand what I'm talking about he's been at the same level but he doesn't understand that he could be better but he's happy it is established the third thing he has not added what is that knowledge he needs more knowledge but he has not improved himself are you still there look at me say this to yourself I'm making up my mind today to live a life of progress 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 and I'll go for knowledge and get wiser all right let's go